Hey everybody, my name is Regina and I'm an environmental educator at the Urban Ecology Center. And I'm here today to talk mostly to the kids. However, adults you can do this too. Now, we are about a month into spring and there are a lot of things happening out here in nature and I want you to get out and check them out because they're really cool. And so today, this is about my backyard square and it's a way that you can mark out a square in your backyard to make nature observations over time. Now, nature is really huge, right? So the square actually helps us focus our observations and, and make it not so overwhelming. So to do this, you can um, find a spot in your yard. You can use your front yard, backyard, side yard, any part of the yard, or you can also go to a park to do this. And the other cool thing is you can even do it outside your window. You don't even have to have a spot. You can just use your window as your square. But if you do it in your yard or in a park or someplace actually outside of nature, you're gonna need a few things. One is a piece of string and I cut mine to eight feet long so that I can make my square two feet on a side, on each side. And then I tie a knot in it so that it's, uh, it's together. Another thing you'll need is a pencil. Another thing is a nature journal. And I made mine out of recycled stuff that I found in my house. And it's really fun and easy to make. You can go also to the Urban Ecology Center in my backyard website, where there's a blog about how to make one of these. So check that out before you um, go outside to do your backyard square. And the last thing I need are four sticks to make the four corners of my square. So all that, that's all you need. And so I think we're ready to go find my spot. And it's right over there because I've checked out the yard already. So let's go check it out. All right, everybody, I found my spot. It's right down here in the ground. Now, I chose mine to, to be um, not on my yard, but you can do it right on the grass if you want to. I found this spot kind of interesting because it's got a variety of things. So let's check it out. So right down here, there are a lot of plants and some open space. So I'm gonna to try to catch some of that, um, some of this interest, these interesting things here. So I'm gonna take my string and put it kind of in a square for to enclose the area that I want. So I laid it down and then I'm going to take a stick and wrap it around and kind of poke it into the ground just like that and do that on all four corners. I'm going to try not to damage any plants along the way. All right, last corner. I think I need to bring that one in a little bit. And the nice thing about this is you can adjust it as you want so that capture all the things in your square that you think are cool. All right, now the next thing is I'm going to just check it out. Like what is in this square? I've got a variety of some green plants, some little strange looking umbrella plants here and one up here. They look like little umbrellas, I think. And there's another plant here that has some leaves that are green but then also they're a little purple on the back there's a stick and a lots of dead uh, leaves and things and then this strange looking thing here I don't know this is weird there's got some really green little things curled up there and this weird clump two little sprigs over here of green so the next thing I'm going to do is use my journal and draw this spot. So we'll be back in a minute. 
All right, everybody. So I spent some time drawing the things in my square and don't worry about whether you feel like you can draw well or not. I'm not a very good artist, but that's okay. It, it just is whatever you want to draw. So I sketched out my square and then I'm gonna look at it a little bit more. So let's take a little closer look again. I don't know what exactly is gonna happen in my square as time goes. And I'm also curious about what's underneath here and what some of these other plants, what these plants are. So I'm gonna dig down for a minute right now. Ooh, there's another green sprout. Maybe that's gonna get bigger. There's a lot of leaves here. Ooh, it's getting cooler and wetter as I go down in there. Hmm, I see just a lot of sticks and other things. So I'm gonna be sure to check that out as time goes on. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to figure out what these plants are and I'll let you know the next time what I figured out. And we'll just see how things turn out, how, how things change in this square as time goes on. So be sure to tune in to the next episode next week. And also, team, I want you to get outside, okay? Get outside in this beautiful spring and check things out. And remember, there's so much life outside in nature, and I want you to check to experience it, okay? All right, bye.